Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Faustin. Now, um, the Lord has spoken with me, and so that is what I would want to share with your listeners. The, the Lord Jehovah, the cornerstone of Zion, the Lord that is the rock of all ages, our refuge, the Lord, the creator of Jerusalem. He that has chosen Jerusalem, and he said in an earlier conversation that yes, Jerusalem is the center of the earth. The creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He that crossed, he crossed the Jordan with the ark, the ark of the covenant of the Lord, the ark of God. And he said the priests should go ahead with the ark. And then as they go into the river Jordan, then they should stand there carrying the ark of God, the seat, the mercy seat of the glory of Jehovah Elohim. And the waters would hold back as everybody crosses, all the Israelites cross, until the last woman and the last babies in the hands pulling like this crossed. That's when finally now the priests carrying the ark of Jehovah crossed to the other side. And so the Lord Jehovah, the God of Israel, that crossed them into the promised land, is the one that has spoken with me this past night. And when he speaks with his servant, the mighty prophet of Jehovah. He spoke to me about a meeting in a place. In that country, there are light-skinned people. They see light-skinned, but they are not white people. But they are light-skinned people. I don't know whether they are white. They, they look like lighter-skinned. More of like Latin America, Latino people, or this type of people. I don't see that they are really pure white people. And at that place, his servant goes there and he sees a lot of these uh, uh, children, the women are all children, a lot of children there, women with many, many children there, they're taking care of them, even they're sitting on the ground. And in that meeting, that is in that meeting, in that meeting, the servant of the Lord decrees open heavens. He actually commands, literally commands heaven to listen to him and open and release rain. Then I see a lot of rain that instantly begins to fall out, to break out as an instant. Heaven instantly obeys his voice and listens and releases lot of heavy drops like this, like this, a lot of rain that uh, takes place. And, uh, this, and then after that, now I see the mighty prophet of Jehovah takes off. He takes off at a very, very high speed. But that also reminds me of uh, the previous, the most recent conversation where again he was at a place where heaven opened and then he took off when the rain came, when he commanded heaven to open, heaven opened and the rain came. Then he folded his garment and pushed his assistant aside and he took off at the speed 
greater than lightning on a path. And that place at which the mighty servant of the Lord did that was in Israel. It was on Mount Carmel. But now I see this again. So which means uh, we are living in a tremendous time. And then the second part of the conversation, he shows me now the most historic healing, anointing, that is coming. The most historic, stunning, 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 that will make people shocked. The whole earth will be very shocked to see this level of healing anointing. Unbelievably, incredibly, astronomically healing anointing. It's a very high healing anointing where there will be healings everywhere and all kinds and stunning ones. And so the Lord shows me all this the whole night until morning. The massive healing, the massive cripples, massive numbers of blind, massive numbers of death, massive numbers of uh, of uh, lame paralytics, the mute, spinal cord injuries, broken backs, broken necks, weak necks, tumors, cancers, blood conditions, leukemia, diabetes, hypertension, all these diseases that are plagued the earth, there will be massive healing like has never been seen before. That's the second part of this dream yesterday. However, I want to go back to the to the opening of heaven and the rain comes down. So that tells you that we are living in a very tremendous time. And the servant now, when the rain comes in this past night, the dream, it takes off at the speed of lightning. It takes off, it falls his down and then runs. So we are really in a place of uh, escalation. The Lord is now escalating the timeline. And uh, the Messiah is coming. Those who have ears, may you listen to the sayings of the day.